Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. The 4WS, four 4-wheel four steering system, has two functions primarily for three purposes. The three purposes are reducing the minimum turning radius, enhancing stability at high speeds, and improving cornering performance. The two functions are in-phase steering and counter-phase steering. In-phase steering refers to steering the rear wheels in the same direction as the front wheels, while counter-phase steering refers to steering the rear wheels in the opposite direction. The control unit calculates and controls the optimal rear wheel steering angle and direction based on various signals, such as vehicle speed, steering wheel input, and yaw rate. Counter phase steering reduces the minimum turning radius. When the vehicle speed is below a certain threshold and the steering wheel is turned beyond a certain angle, the system steers the rear wheels in the opposite direction to the front wheels. Depending on the vehicle model, the maximum rear wheel steering angle is about 227 degrees. This allows the minimum turning radius to be reduced. However, you need to be cautious. It's not all positive. Think about a situation where you parked close to a wall. At very low speeds, the turning center of a 2WS vehicle is near the rear wheels. Because of this, the rear bumper won't scrape against the wall. However, in a 4WS vehicle, the turning center is further forward, causing the rear bumper to protrude outward on the outside of the curve. Repairing a bumper is not cheap either. In-phase steering, enhances cornering performance. In the case of a 2WS vehicle, the vehicle turns due to the following effects. The driver operates the steering wheel, and the front wheels are steered. A discrepancy occurs between the direction front tire points and the front tire travel direction. Cornering force, which is a lateral force, is generated, changing the vehicle direction. When a discrepancy occurs between the direction rear tire points and the rear tire travel direction, cornering force is also generated in the rear tire, initiating the cornering. If you want to learn more about cornering force, please watch the video, Oversteer, Understeer, and Cornering Force. There is a link in the description. In a 4WS vehicle, Cornering force is generated on both the front and rear wheels simultaneously, allowing for a quicker initiation of a cornering. Compare 2WS and 4WS vehicles. We can see that 4WS vehicles begin cornering more quickly. In-phase steering also contributes to improved stability at high speeds. When changing lanes on the highway, the 4WS vehicle steers the rear wheels in phase, causing the vehicle to move laterally, which enables a stable lane change. Please note, this animation is highly exaggerated, showing the rear wheels steering to the same degree as the front wheels. In reality, the rear weasel steering angle in phase steering is only about 2 degrees at most. Additionally, the 4WS system enhances driving stability even in strong crosswinds. When the car experiences lateral movement even though the driver is not operating the steering wheel, the system steers the rear wheels to cancel out the movement, improving straight-line stability. In 1985, Nissan was the first to adopt a 4WS system. This system was aimed at improving cornering performance, with control limited to in-phase steering only, and the maximum rear wheel steering angle was as small as 0.5 degrees. In 1987, Mazda and Honda were the first to adopt 4WS systems, with both in-phase and counter-phase steering functions. Both systems connected the front and rear steering gearboxes with a shaft, but Mazda used electronic control to switch between in-phase and counter-phase steering, while Honda employed a purely mechanical system for the switch. Honda's system was unique, so check it out. The rear steering gearbox was equipped with a planetary gear, which steered the rear wheels in phase when the steering wheel input was small, and switched to counter-phase steering when the steering input became larger. 
It was a pragmatic design, based on the assumption that drivers wouldn't need to make large steering inputs at high speeds. Until the early 2000s, many car models adopted 4WS system. But after that, the number of models using it decreased. Perhaps, the disadvantages, such as the driver feeling uncomfortable, outweighed the benefits. In recent years, more car models have started adopting 4WS system again, due to the increasing size of vehicle bodies and advancements in electronic control systems. Therefore, the car models adopting 4WS are limited to long wheelbase models like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Rolls-Royce, and Bentley, as well as high-performance vehicles such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche, and the Renault Megane RS. The current systems include a type that uses an electric motor-driven hydraulic pump to drive the rear steering shaft, and another type that drives the steering shaft directly with an electric motor. If you want to learn more about steering system, please watch the video, Power Steering, How It Works. There is a link in the description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.